Alright guys, uh, today's video is actually going to be on a uh, Droid 2. This is a device that I recently acquired again, actually had it and got it back. Um, so what I'm going to show you guys how to do on this older device here is how to SBF this thing back to stock. So let's say you mess it up, totally brick it or whatever, soft brick it, um, and you need to get it back to stock. Uh, factory stock say say it won't even boot up I'll just show you what I'm running right now just so you can see it is actually on right here Android 2.3.4 um, that is what it's running but let's just say that you're powered off and you can't even get this thing to power on just boot loops or whatever and you need to restore it uh, with an SBF file so basically what you're gonna do is from the off position you're gonna slide open the keyboard and I don't know if you can see this, but this button right here, the up button, underneath the, the enter button, you're going to hold down. And then you're going to hold down your power button, okay? Now the screen's going to flash here, and then you just let go of them. And now you are in bootloader mode, okay? So from here, you can actually close this. And then we're going to make sure that you guys have the Motorola drivers installed. Um, I'll give you guys links to all that stuff down below uh, in my video description along with the RSD light tool you're going to use. So once you do, you're in bootloader mode, you're going to go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. All right, and as you can see over here in my bottom corner, let me restart my focus here. So as you can see down here, it's uh, installing the drivers, guys, um, right here. So it's trying to install this driver. It's searching for Windows for the driver. So once it finds this driver, which it should, we should have a device down here in this RSD light tool. So it found the driver. It says Motorola Flash Interface. Again, drivers and all that will be linked in uh, the description down below. So right here we have RSD light tool. Again, this will be linked also. And we have your device connected down here. And you can see this is what your device is right here. Um, so you have an ID and uh, most of the stuff's NA, but not, not a huge issue. What I like to do is expand these a little bit so we can see a little better while we're doing this. Um, so we're good there. So next what you're going to do is you're going to get this download file. Um, and I have mine stored, I'll just show you, under Droid 2, uh, under 2.3.4, and here is the FBS file. Um, let's see if I can show it to you here. There you go, .sbf. So you just click on it, and then it says uncompress only for now. This is the way I'm going to do it right now. It's going to uncompress this file, and then we will be able to flash this thing, and it'll bring this device back to a uh, stock system here. So there you go. Now you can see this over here, your file properties. Tells you about a little bit about it, um, your platform, a couple little different specs right here. So once you get to this point, um, you've got your device connected. You are in this bootloader mode, you're hooked into your computer, everything's good to go, and you can get to this bootloader mode at any time, even if you brick your device, you should be able to hit that power and uh, up arrow to get to it. Um, so we're good there, everything's installed, everything's done, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead right here and hit start, um, and this is going to go ahead and go, so it says uh, phone creating image file images, so this is going to run through. It's going to run through a bunch of these percentages here, so be really patient with this thing. Um, and I'm actually probably going to pause for this. This process right here of flashing probably takes a um, total of maybe 10 minutes to 15 minutes to run. Uh, I guess depending on your computer speed, that kind of stuff, what you got going on on it. But it's, it's, it's approximately that long, so be very patient with it. At the end, it is going to reboot the device. Um, so it should restart. Um, if it fails to start, I'm going to show you the procedure to make it start. But uh, we're going to kind of watch this thing right now. And then also, definitely do not unplug your phone during this process. If you unplug your phone in the middle of this process, it's possible that you could basically hard brick this thing and if you hard brick it uh, you can't even recover it with this and you're pretty much uh, out of luck on this device it'd be a paperweight for you um, also another prerequisite of doing this battery you want to make sure you have at least 80 or 90 percent battery preferably 100 percent battery um, charge before you start this process 
because if you lose battery in the middle of this, it'll be the same situation. You'll you'll brick the device, um, or if it fails to do certain things during it, it, you'll you'll mess it up. The only recovery then will probably be getting a factory cable and maybe reflashing it with a factory cable might work. Uh, so all that being said, those are kind of your situation here. Again, I'm gonna pause this thing while I let this thing run. You can see right here we're running a percentage on this. We're at 20%. Um, but it's going to go through a couple of those percentage things there. So just going to let this run. I'll come back to it once it gets to a, a different phase here. Okay, so the execution here, guys, has actually finished here. And now it is um, checking, checking sums to match. So it's actually rechecking to make sure that it flashed everything correctly and everything matches up correctly right here. So you're, you're about halfway through when you get to this point. Um, so just be patient on it, but just wanted to show you that when you drag out these windows here so you can see 100% here, but you're checking stuff here. So just be uh, watching that. Alright, so it actually it passed that procedure. And I didn't obviously have all my drivers installed correctly, so it just did that. Um, so it's doing a couple more little quick things here. Um, BP flash code group 3 it's finishing some ex execution over here so we're getting there um, what it's probably going to do after this process right here which shouldn't take too long is it's going to reboot the phone and see if it boots up correctly um, I think this one that I have right now will boot up correctly but I'm going to show you guys what to do if it doesn't so here you go it says uh, phone is rebooting or being rebooted so I'm going to try to show you guys this if I can. Here's your bootloader. And just kind of power it off. You can see that. And there's your Motorola logo. And it's going to go through your uh, boot animation. And you can see over here, execution right here of the boot reboot. So when it gets to 100%, if you haven't rebooted, you probably are going to need to do a factory reset, which I will show you. So let's let this thing finish, get to 100% and see what happens. Alright, so I just want to show you guys this really quick. My phone is actually already booted up, if you can see it here. It's kind of blurred there, but it's actually already booted up and reconnected to the computer. Now, it does say execution is only 36% right now by my mouse, 40%. So even though the device has booted up correctly, um, just let it go to 100%. So there, it did it really quick, shot the 100% and then it says pass. Now, you may get to 100% and this thing may say fail here, okay? Or manually reboot or something. If it gets to that point and your phone isn't booted up like, like this, then I'll show you what you would do. So you're gonna unplug your cable here and make sure again, like I said, don't do this until it says fail and you've boot looped a couple times where you've just kept rebooting okay so let's say it's 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 boot looping right now even though it's not you just pull your battery in the back take it out okay screen goes off place it back in okay put your cover back on if I can get it back on okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna open up your phone I'm gonna try to bring it up here so you can see this you're going to open up your phone, okay? And you're going to hold the X button and the power button and just hold them down. Just keep holding them. And you got the Motorola logo, but you want to get into recovery. Okay, so this is recovery right here. All right? From this point, you can close your phone. Try both. Let's try both the uh, volume keys. Yeah, that's how you do it. So once you see the triangle, just hit both the uh, volume up and down, and it'll get you into recovery mode. Again, I'm going to refocus here so you can see this. Okay, so now we're in recovery mode by hitting the volume up and down at the same time once you see the little triangle guy there. So once that happens uh, and your phone's been boot looping, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down with your uh, volume buttons, and you're going to go to right here, wipe uh, data factory reset, and then you can actually select it with the enter button on your keyboard and then again scroll down and it says delete all user data so we're gonna scroll with that button and then I don't know can you select with the power you might be able to 
Yeah, it looks like you can. You can select with the power instead of the enter button. Either one works. So right now it says wiping data, formatting data. Um, so we're going to let this thing finish the format. And then we're going to go ahead and wipe uh, cache partition. So it's already formatting cache partition. You can see that right there. So it does format data and cache partition just from doing the uh, factory reset. And wipe complete. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and go back. See on the very top, it says reboot system now. So just hit your power button. And this is going to reboot the device. This time, um, if you were boot looping, this should wipe off everything and you should be 100% good to go. You shouldn't have any boot loop on this. It should just boot up fine. So I'm going to let this thing boot up. And then I'll just show you guys what we're working with. So, here we go. This is uh, after you've wiped data, everything booted up fine. You're actually completely back to full stock, basically exactly like you would get it from Verizon. Um, so there you go. That's it, guys. That is how to SBF your phone and then factory reset it um, back to stock. And you can see here again, we are on right here, Android 2.3.4. So there's the full circle, guys. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button uh, down below. Also, again, like I told you, everything's in the description down below. Links, everything you're going to need. Uh, please subscribe right here. You can uh, check out my website right above my thumb here, which is rootjunkie.com. Excellent, excellent information on there. You're really going to like it. Check that out, please. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook down below. And as always, have a good day, guys. Catch you later.